hi and welcome to watching Shoutout Day and today I will introduce to you five new bands that I have discovered myself and uh, I think that are worth discovering by you also so uh, I will name the five bands and then I will talk a little more about each of the band so the five new bands that I will introduce to you today are Grenware, Death Like Dissonance, Celestial Coffin uh, 20 pound sledge and dot single. The first band, Grenware. Grenware is uh, a new metal experimental band, experimental metal band from Saint Petersburg, Russia, and they have said that their influences are Meshuga, In Flames, Corn, Fear Factory and so on and what made me choose this band is uh, yes they are a new metal band but they have also extreme metal um, not extreme but experimental metal band also so they are a mix and uh, I also I always like bands that have that are uh, have mixed together different styles so uh, I found them pretty interesting and I think you should check them out also The next band, Death Like Dissonance, is a black slash death metal band from Japan, and they are um, their music is pretty heavy, as as with every metal band. But they also have this melodic side, and after listening to their music, I thought to myself that their music resembles me, uh, Dimu Borgir mixed with My Dying Bride. And I really liked it, and I advise you to also check this band out. The next band is Celestial Coffin, and it is a black slash death slash doom metal band from Canada. And they say that their influences are Cradle of Filth, Bursum. Uh, Timo Borgir, Slayer, Soilwork, Pantera and uh, etc. But uh, I also wanted to bring out the vocals because uh, to me the vocals uh, reminded a bit of Maurizio Kono's vocals in Cataclysm and Next Dio and um, I thought that it's worth mentioning here. And uh, I think they are worth discovering and I like them. The next band, uh, 20 Pound Sledge. Uh, they are from the United States and I would say that they are a general metal band. And in their description they say that they have a male and female vocalist and to create this kind of uh, uh, beauty versus beast effect. And instantly I thought of Nightwish and other symphonic uh, metal bands fronted by uh, women. Uh, but uh, they also said that they, their vocalist can do growling vocals like, uh, for example, Angela Kosova of Harge Enemy. And that's what intrigued me because I think it's pretty interesting when there is this beauty and beast effect and also female vocalist can do herself uh, growling vocals. So that is what I found interesting about this band but unfortunately I cannot give you a link where you can listen to their music because at the moment they have been in the studio and they haven't uploaded any songs to the net to the internet but uh, I will put the link to their male vocalists uh, MySpace so if you are interested in this kind of band then uh, uh, you can contact him and ask him when you can uh, hear those songs or when when they are going to upload something so uh, but I think it's uh, worth still worth discovering and they also mentioned that they are doing uh, uh, cover songs also in their appearance uh, in their concerts and the next the final band dot single is from Norway and they are a black metal band and um, their music resembles Celestial Bloodshed, Funeral, uh, Mist and Necros Christos and I would say that they are not... Um, if you think black metal, I for example 
almost immediately think of Immortal, uh, my uh, Timo Borgir and Satirican and etc. But I must say that this band, this band's sound doesn't resemble any of these bands, and they are a bit darker in my, my opinion, and that is what I like that they don't resemble. Uh, typical, not typical, but that they don't resemble uh, Immortal, for example, where they have this blast, fast blast beat drumming, so uh, they were interesting to me in that way. And they have also uploaded their videos to YouTube here, so I will link one of their videos here, so you can go and see it yourself and listen to, your, listen to it yourself and make your own conclusion about this band. All the info uh, for these five new bands uh, will be I will put up on the website also, which is heavymentalnewsweekly.webs.com and uh, there you can find also the contact information, but I will put the contact information about the bands or where you can listen to them uh, down in the description box also. And uh, if, you, you, if you yourself have a band and want to be featured in this shoutout day, then um, let me know through YouTube, on my email, uh, then I have I have also created a, a fan page for, in Facebook, so you can contact me, contact me through Facebook or MySpace also, and uh, send me what is your band's name, how would you describe it, what are your influences, and where can we find your music, where can we listen to it, and I will put uh, your band in the next shout out day. So this is it. I hope you liked it and if you did like it please give it thumbs up and subscribe to me also if you want to see more shoutout days and more heavy metal news. So this is it and I will see you next time in the shoutout day.